follow your ears to an online concert this weekend. Christine Brewer will help say thank you. She will help us show gratitude to healthcare workers fighting the coronavirus. We have Laura Arnold. She chairs Arts and Faith St. Louis. They will have an online interfaith concert that will stream live from the Sheldon. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, what a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me, Kim. Well, just the fact that this is virtual instead of in person, would you just say that the whole model, the change for this year's concert, honors medical workers? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's been months and months that these medical workers have been done, doing such compassionate work for so many in our community. And I do believe it's time for us to once again say to them, we are so appreciative and thankful for the work that you're doing. And we're going to do that in a concert. Actually, we have a special work, a new um, composition from Paul Reuter, who Christine Brewer, Christine Brewer, who you just saw, is going to sing for us. And it'll highlight through uh, photographs some of the healthcare workers working in our hospitals today with COVID-19 patients. It's just amazing uh, the positive spirit you can see in their faces, what, what little you can see of their faces, even though they are totally masked up. Um, what are you looking forward to the most at this concert? Well, I am so proud of what I believe is going to be the really high quality of this concert that is consistent with what we've done at the Sheldon, but the ability to do it safely is so important. And so we have some fantastic soloists who will be with us besides Christine Brewer, who you've just seen. We have the jazz singer, Anita Jackson, uh, who is going to sing, I wish I knew how it would feel to be free. Because one of the things we also wanna highlight is that we are at a moment in our history where we need to reconcile uh, what it is uh, to have racial equity in our community. And, and um, our, I'm also very excited because one of the highlights of the concert always is the youth participation. We are usually joined by two very large youth choirs. We couldn't do that this year. So we have a couple of soloists that are young people. Eve Hill is going to be with us from the City of Music All-Star Chorus, and she's gonna sing the Sam Cooke classic, A Change Is Gonna Come. And so that, that is one of the things I'm very much looking forward to. I could see uh, in uh, some of those pictures that uh, Arts and Faith, you all are busy all year round. Can you tell me about some of the other things you do for the community? Certainly, we're busy because we represent the faith, the broad faith community in the St. Louis metro area, and the faith different faith communities are out working on behalf of people every single day. During the, you know, we had to put some of our things on hiatus. One of our most important programs is a tour of the art museum that you can do highlighting interfaith works, works of art that lead to conversation across different faith groups. Uh, we participate in the St. Louis Storytelling Festival, and one of the things we did this year was add additional storytelling events because we could do that virtually. And so we're looking forward to thinking of ways that we can adapt to these times, but provide space for people of faith to have conversation about what binds us together, not what separates us. The Arts of Faith concert will stream on Sunday, October 25th. It will be at the Sheldon, but you can enjoy it at home. There are several ways to watch it. Just get the links at artsfaithstl.org.